Hey guys, it's Steve with Prima. We are here today taking a look at the Malkonig E65S Espresso Grinder. It is their newest model in their lineup. It's replacing the K30 Vario and it's got tons of great features. Let's take a look. So with the E65S, we've got the same 65 millimeter flat burr set uh, as the K30 Vario. Same exact burrs. Everything else is updated and new. So we've got the whole new chassis, we've got a new motor, we've got a new control panel, new grind uh, setting mechanism. Everything is updated. Um, the K30 Vario is being retired, uh, so the E65S is basically taking its spot as that entry level um, you know, really nice espresso grinder for a commercial setting. Up top, we have a 1200 gram hopper. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than some of Malconic's previous hoppers. And actually the hopper design, the, um, the mount and like twist lock is different. So it's not compatible or cross compatible with Malconic's other hoppers. Um, that's something important to keep in mind. We will probably see some um, smaller accessory hoppers. Malconic seems to be having, um, seems to have a few things in the works there. Um, for now, we only have this 1200 gram hopper. Below that, we have a new stepless grind adjustment. Um, we no longer have that uh, screw lock that holds the wheel in place. We just have this um, nice and easy, smooth action for adjusting grind setting. We also have a grind setting lock on the back of the grinder. There's just a little dial. Um, so if you are good and confident in your grind setting, you don't, don't think you need to change it for a little bit, you can lock it in place to prevent any like bumps or uh, nudging, kind of knocking it out of place. Um, in our experience, uh, you know, we've, uh, we've gotten to play with one for quite a while. That's not really necessary. It's kind of more or less, um, you might want to lock it if you think that maybe it might get bumped. Um, also, we have a brand new control panel here. Um, and this is really nice because it's a very big digital display. It's got a really easy to use knob and button functionality. And programming wise, you can set up up to eight um, grind profiles and customize them however you like. Um, so there are five preset grind sort of uh, like um, parameters basically. So like you'll notice that each of these, like there's a single spout, there's a double spout. I've got this little cup here. Uh, I also have a porter filter. Um, each of these can be set up, they can be rearranged however you like. Uh, you can set anywhere from one to eight uh, preset grind uh, profiles and they're really, really easy to access. You just double tap this button, go right to recipes. You can change your recipe count. So let's say I want to actually go and have three instead of four. Um, it'll actually just knock one off the very end. Um, now I have you know, three recipes here uh, to choose from. If I wanna change, for example, from double spout to this continuous grind setting, I can do that. Um, the continuous grind mode is the only one that does not grind by time. All the rest grind by time in seconds with tenths of a second resolution. Um, and this grinder is quite fast actually. So you can grind a dose in between three and four seconds in our experience. Um, so it's very, very quick um, to get a dose out. It does need a little bit of time to cool off in between, but if, since you're only grinding for three or four seconds, you can probably get away with like 15, 20 seconds in between shots uh, to cool down a little bit. If you are grinding more than that, that's gonna push it a little bit. It'll get warm. It might uh, throw off your, uh, your grind a little bit. Um, it's really intended as more of like a, a medium volume um, service grinder. Uh, but uh, in our experience, the quality is still quite good even if you start to push it a little bit. Below that, you'll notice we have um, obviously porter filter forks and a spout. The spout is actually removable uh, really easily in fact which is great because you know, if you've ever worked in a cafe, you gotta take these things and clean them. Um, and it can be a little bit tough to just shove a brush in or a vacuum or something like that. We also have this little U-ring that adjusts um, kind of the angle of the spout. So just to make sure that you're hitting the center of your basket and you get a nice fluffy mount of grinds. Uh, obviously the portafilter forks themselves are adjustable by height. So, so you can make sure that your um, portafilter is nestling perfectly in those forks. Um, and overall, we've got this really quick grinder. It's putting out a nice, fluffy, centered mound of grinds. Um, the grind quality is great. The flavor is great. 
Um, honestly, you know, in our experience, we think it's a little bit better than the K30 Vario, and that might kind of come down to construction and uh, temperature management. Um, but overall, really excellent grinder product. Um, I'm gonna pull a quick shot here to show you what it's like to use this. I'm gonna actually set it to my continuous grinding mode. Uh, and again, it only takes about three seconds to grind a full dose. So I'm gonna aim for 19 grams here, um, just to kind of show you how quick this is. So nice centered, fluffy mound of grinds. Uh, we have a new declumping mechanism in the, in the grinder itself on the chute down to the portafilter. Um, and that is also uh, designed to be more easily removed and cleaned. So maintenance is really nice there. Um, it works very well, uh, as you could probably see in the basket, and um, gives you this great centered amount of grinds. Um, so overall, we have this kind of rethinking and rework of the K30 Vario grinder. Uh, again, same burr set, different motor, new body. Um, the footprint is smaller, it's more compact which is really nice, uh, especially if you want to set up a couple of these in your cafe. Um, so we have this excellent, um, excellent kind of rethinking of what the K30 Vario could be. Uh, and we're really excited to see what comes out of that line uh, along with um, uh, probably future revisions or um, maybe even upgrades um, on the E65S platform. So that is the Malkunig E65S. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you wanna see more content like this, we've got all kinds of product overviews, comparisons, recipes, events coverage, and more. Feel free to subscribe, like, share this video, and let us know what you think in the comments.